Hello my dear friends today i am going to teach a problem on a protective type flange coupling so let's read a problem design a cast iron protective type flange coupling to transmit 15 kW at 900 rpm from electric motor compressor a service factor may be assumed as 1.35 the following permissible stresses are given so these are the stresses shear stress for the shaft and bolt and key is 40 mpa so it is denoted by tau symbol shaft bolt and key similarly crushing stress for the bolt and key crushing stress sigma c for bolt and key is 80 mpa whereas shear stress for cast iron is tau ci cast iron 8 mpa now let's have a look on a diagram so here this is a shaft this is first shaft this is second shaft which are attached to the flange by using key so these are two keys are here so shaft diameter is denoted by d hub diameter is denoted by d1 whereas the pitch circle diameter is denoted as d2 and outer diameter of the flange is denoted by d3 the length of the flange is denoted by l the length of the flange is also equal to length of the key so at the top this is thickness of flange which is denoted by t and t2 is here which is the extra protective layer this side as well as this side and this thickness is called t3 which is thickness of protective layer so let's start with the design of shaft the torque is equals to 9.55 into 10 raised to 6 into p divided by n where p is power and n is rpm this formula is from 3.3a page number 50 so substitute the values 9.55 into 10 raised to 6 the power is 15 and rpm is 900 so given the uh, answer for this is here which is in terms of newton per mm so in the problem they have given a service factor that is 1.35 means what whatever torque we are generating we have to multiply that with 1.35 so we will get maximum torque and by considering this we have to find out the shaft diameter so next formula i am taking tau is equals to 16 d pi d cube this formula is from page number 50 equation number 3.1 for this i am using balveer reddy and k mahadevan data design data handbook so substitute the value tau value is given for shaft is 40 40 16 16 this is torque what we have got pi and d cube so after substituting and calculating we got answer of 30.1 so i am making it round off and taking diameter as 35 mm now we will go for design of hub so diameter d1 so diameter d1 is here which is nothing but from hub this to this and the formula is 2 into d and the formula is on page number 252 equation number 13.1 d so 2 into 35 answer is 70 mm next length of the hub so which is nothing but from this to this so formula 1.2d plus 20 mm and d is nothing but what diameter we have got 35 d is mentioned here so after that we will get answer 6 to 2 mm and this formula is on same page number 252 but equation number is 13.1g similarly consider this as a hollow shaft so this inner diameter is diameter of the shaft and this is d1 is outer diameter so that d is 35 whereas d1 is 70 we will get one answer for k is 0.5 now use the formula 3.1 page number 50 this formula in this we are checking our shear stress is correct or wrong or it is safe or wrong substitute all the values and find out the shear stress here step by step calculation is also given 
so stress value is 3.32 MPa it is for flange so it is given as 8 MPa shear stress for the cast iron so answer is 3.32 which is less than 8 MPa so our design is safe here now next turn design of a key so diameter already we know that is 35 mm so I will go to the table number 4.1 page number 69 I am considering this as a square key so breadth is 12 mm and height is also I am taking 12 mm which is from table 4.1 page number 69 so length as I already told the length of the key is equals to length of the hub so we have got 62 mm length of the hub so L is equals to also 62 mm so those who want to draw it on a part drawing just add 10 mm extra for the key length 62 plus 10 total is 72 mm now next uh, is check the shear stress so for checking the shear stress I will use the formula on page number 62 4.5 a which is T is equals to 1 by 2 tau BDL so here assume tau is not given substitute remaining values and multiply this and find out the value of tau so here I got 16.13 MPa which is less than 40 MPa and this is given in the problem so here also my design is safe similarly same fashion I will check crushing stress so T is equals to 1 by 4 sigma C HDL which is on 4.4 B page number 62 so substitute the values here find out crushing stress that is 31.26 MPa and the given value is 80 MPa and what we have got is 13.26 MPa so here also my design is safe now let's move to the design of flange here diameter already we have got 35 mm so we have to find out now D2 so D2 is 3D the formula is on page number 252 13.1 e 3 into 35 105 so what is D2 here so D2 is nothing but diameter, pitch circle diameter from here to here. Now I want to even find out thickness of the flange and D3 also. D3 is what? Outer diameter. So D3 formula is 4 point D, 4 into D, 4 into 35. So answer is 140 mm that is 13.1 equation F. 252 page number now next the uh, thickness of the flange which just I have shown you T is equals to 0 0.35 D plus 9 mm the equation number is 13.1 H page number 252 so T is equals to if I substitute the value as a D 35 the final answer is 21.25 which I will round off to 22 mm the next is design of bolt the number of bolts required it is the formula I is equals to 0.02 D plus 3 mm that is 13.1 and this formula is on page number 251 so for this I got the answer as a 3.7 I will round off it to the 4 so required number of nut bolts are 4 next the formula is diameter of the bolt which is D is equals to 0.5 D divided by root of I I is number of bolts equation number 13.1 C the formula is on page number 251 for this I got answer 8.75 now 8.75 divided by 0.84 so this is standard value this is what standard value so I got answer 10.41 so next number is after 10 11 is there but instead of selecting odd number go for even number so I will go 12 so M12 bolt I am using here so once again I will tell you this 0.84 value is a standard value next thickness of a flange which is of page number 251 formula thickness of a protective layer, layer this is also on page number 251 use this T2 and T3 formula and get the answer for first I got 18 mm and for second I got 9 mm thank you